Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. Um, on this video I have this mini uh, Koopa. This is a 2001 um, and uh, basically it's, it's misfiring. So it's, it's misfiring quite badly. I think two cylinders might be misfiring. Uh, cylinder what, number one here and number two. Um, and basically I have been doing quite a lot of checks um, including I removed the fuel rail here cleaned it and actually I swapped it with um, another mini I had lying around uh, when I was doing these checks um, the other mini was running fine with this fuel rail so there was nothing wrong with it also I took from the other mini this uh, coil pack here with the cables um, and swap them around the other mini running perfectly fine so I had no issues with that no issues with the fuel rail as such um, spark plugs put another set of spark plugs and still misfiring uh, like crazy and at the moment it still is misfiring a lot so um, it's even obviously a little bit hard to start because um, it just it is just running like on two cylinders so I even have a block of wood there to give it a bit of gas to keep the so you can more or less hear that um, <clears throat> some backfiring there <laughs> but that's how badly it's running um, so the next thing I wanted to do really so I'll just switch it off for now or to be fair what I've already done is I removed the wiring here uh, well the connection to the injector so this here is plugged onto the injectors i actually removed all the injectors too um, and uh, check them one by one they're all actually working and spraying uh, fuel so the thing is when i was uh, doing some checks checking the voltage here um, two of these i think so i, I have to I'll, I'll check them again because um, I was doing it last year then I abandoned the car for some time because I didn't have time but um, uh, one definitely had no signal whatsoever so the ECU basically not signaling um, this cable here as such the injector wouldn't work so it's not working basically and I think I had another one as well I think these two may have been the culprits and these three are working fine so when I'm when I'm running the engine um, as badly as it's running if I disconnect this uh, the car will cut out because uh, obviously I'm taking away even one more cylinder uh, same happens if I do that with that but it that doesn't happen if I do that with I think these two um, so I'm gonna be checking that uh, but uh, at the moment I'm thinking that my ECU may have failed and it's why it's not sending uh, a signal to these injectors because um, everything else electrical side and plugs fuel rail injectors are all okay they're all working um, but like I said check the signal there and there was no signal so I'm gonna take the job from that point um, if you're diagnosing a misfire um, then you you'd have to follow a similar approach uh, of finding out first which cylinder is misfiring and you could do that same method if you just unplug the injectors here you will hear how uh, the engine changes rhythm so either 
if you're misfiring on that cylinder you will have no change um, but if it is not misfiring on that cylinder and you take this out the engine might cut out or you may actually have an extra misfire you'll create an extra misfire which you will be able to to hear so that way you can sort of pinpoint which cylinder might be misfiring um, and then you could do slightly different things you could uh, swap the spark plugs see if the misfire changes uh, place you could um, buy a set of new leads if the leads are faulty um, or check for a spark on, on the leads I mean if you pull this out okay they're quite hard uh, if you pull this out and you earth it if you put a screwdriver in there and you earth earth that against some metal you will see a spark um, that way you can check for sparks obviously <laughs> You have to be careful with all of these things. You don't want to get electrocuted. You don't want to have any fuel around or anything like that while you're doing those kinds of checks. Um, but anyway, let's. Uh, I'm going to start now by checking this again. Um, and actually, before I start checking the fuel connections here, the fuel injector connections, um, I'm going to remove the plugs that I had in here because um, I actually put different kinds different plugs in them so you can see that that plug is wet or it actually looks a little bit wet or something that would imply that there was fuel isn't it <laughs> um, anyway I'm gonna remove those all of these um, these are not Difficult, obviously, you just pull pull the uh, leads out and you disconnect and then undo the plugs. And I use that long nose pliers there to to reach the plugs. Uh, going by my own theory I think I'm going to try to swap the spark plugs as well and uh, just make sure one more time it's not spark plug related so I know that plug works and uh, I'm gonna put that plug in there So this is the, the plugs that were in this car, BMW NGK R5. I don't know if there's any other numbers here, but they have, they look like this. Uh, what does that say? BKR6 EQUP. When you put your plugs in there, don't just don't drop them in there because uh, they may get damaged if you do that. Right, what did I put in here? <clears throat> okay, so that's one of the original ones as well. Put that one in number four. Oh yeah, so that one is gonna go in number two. The um, scanner was saying uh, was just saying multiple misfires. It wasn't really pointing out to anything else. So that's, that is all that is detecting uh, misfires. 
um, but I am suspecting that I may have a doji ECU but the problem is you can't just replace the ECU if you replace the ECU you need to replace the body control module the EWS and the ignition barrel so we'll see we'll see how we go Okay, make sure they're sitting properly. Now I'm gonna try to start the car again, see what happens. We have a misfire and uh, as I was saying if you were to remove you can feel the difference if I take that out same with that if I take this one out no change whatsoever and if I take this one out I don't have any change either or do I? <laughs> yeah maybe I do maybe Maybe this one is actually working. It sounds like this one might be actually working. And this one is definitely not doing anything. So this is more or less how you can find out which cylinder is uh, misfiring. Okay, so um, as you can see, uh, <laughs> I, I seem to have some problem here. Now, obviously, if you check the poles on these, um, and if, if you have a pulse on all of them, then you may actually have a faulty injector. But also, but so that's exactly what I did. I checked the poles, and I think these three have, have a pulse except this one. And I don't know why. So that's why I opened this cover here, and uh, I was um, checking the wiring. This wiring goes to the ECU, and I couldn't really find any any issues as such so that's why I'm, I'm uh, thinking of a faulty ECU at the moment okay so I've just connected this little uh, gadget here um, what's it called it's a power sort of a test light continuity tester jumper just a few things you can do with this um, so I was just checking each connection I got the ignition on and uh, checking each connection of the injectors here you can see one side has like a positive life and the other side of the injector 
there's nothing on it. So we're just gonna put that back in there. Uh, same, this one here. And to be honest, I checked them all and they're all the same. Even number one here. So what I want to do is I, I want to check the pulse on number one while the engine is running. So I just cut the wires there. I did a little cut on the side and connected these two wires here to see what is going on. But just remember this one is positive. So one side is positive so don't let it touch the body if you're kind of doing similar tests um, and uh, I'm gonna pull one of these while the car is running and I'm gonna check it um, check the pulses here directly um, ideally I would also make a hole uh, well I mean cut the wires here and connect another two but we'll try to do it this way and <clears throat> and see how we get on right, i'm gonna get the car started okay so we'll have a quick check here um i have to have it running at high revs otherwise it won't stay on so if i disconnect one of these injectors well cables and we're gonna check the poles there you can see one side is pulsing and the other side is positive and the other side is like giving a, a negative signal so same for all of them that is doing the same however if I check number one here That one is uh, red. And the other one is also red. So on those two, I have two red signals. Uh, I'm just gonna switch the engine off. Okay, so I've just tried that a, a little experiment here. Um, if I disconnect this, Injector here, we get the extra misfire. Now, if I use the pulse, the pulse from this injector uh, onto the injector number one, then it starts working. Uh, but I obviously have a, a misfire here. If I disconnect that, so for whatever reason, unknown to me, there is um, some kind of problem with this uh, wire here. It's still delivering the poles that we need, as we already checked it before. Okay, so in conclusion, I've been. Uh, playing around with this for a little while um, as you can see if I if I disconnect any of these an extra misfire is created and makes the engine run a little bit rougher 
Um, so what I discover is that if I disconnect one of these and use use the poles from the wire there um, to power this injector here, then that starts working, um, which leads me to believe the injector is fine. So all injectors are fine. The problem here is, as we already checked earlier, there is no poles coming to this brown wire. Um, there is continuity because I can see, um, if I check right now that brown wire, you can see there is continuity there. It's the same as this one here. We have continuity there. Well, we have a, a red light there, positive, and then you have it on the return. And same with this, you have the red there, and then you have the red there. So there's no issues with the actual connection here, with the connector, um, or the wire around here. Obviously, I don't know if this wire might be broken somewhere else uh, on the way to the ECU. Um, however, I doubt it very much. There is nothing to suggest, there's no moving parts or anything as such here to, to lead me to believe that there is a, a broken wire. Um, and the only, during my research, the only other option I found is that the ECU uh, seems to fail inside um, and it stops producing the poles to there. So just one more test I forgot to do here um, which I'm going to show you now. It's um, each each one of these uh, signal wires go back to the go back to the ECU um, so the positive side of the, uh, sorry, there's a mixture of cables here, but here we have one injector. One of the injectors here has got two cables. One of these cables comes from the fuse box with a positive feed. Uh, the other one is the signal wire, and that signal wire goes straight back to the ECU. So there's nothing in between. I check the wiring diagram. So, and this here, each one of these goes straight to the fuse box. Now I've tested each one of these uh, and they all, they read positive. So I haven't got an issue with that. Um, as we saw in the video, um, the only issue I'm having is that there's no signal coming to this injector. Um, so what I've done is I've checked the continuity from the signal wire back to the ECU. So if you check for a wiring diagram, uh, you will find that in here, on this side, there are four connectors. There are four pins. And those four pins uh, are the wires that go back to each one of these um, injectors. So if I connect this, so that's my, this is from my uh, multimeter there. Just gonna switch that on actually. I'm gonna put it on uh, speaker. So if I just connect this to one of the pins, the pin that um, relates to one of these, uh, I'll show you the continuity. Okay, so you can hear the buzzer on my uh, multimeter here. I've got connected this side here. I got this yellow wire here that is connected to my the signal wire of injector number one there. And uh, that particular signal wire goes back to, so the other side of my multimeter is connected into here with a pin. Now um, I've checked all four, so the four of them are there. You can check, you can disconnect each one of these and check them. Uh, you can just uh, plug into there 
and check them from there so connect your one side of your multimeter here to the signal wire and the other side to the ECU connection here and that's one where you can check the continuity of the cable so so clearly the I have a I have a the cable going from the ECU to there it's it's okay it's not faulty or broken I have the continuity there um, so I have checked everything and uh, at this moment in time uh, I am sus I'm suspecting a faulty ECU there um, so that we'll have to check on the next video where I'm going to replace uh, the system I'm gonna replace the ECU EWS and the the barrel on the um, steering wheel because that's all of that we need to replace in order to try to start the car again um, if that doesn't work um, I have been doing some reading and apparently we could have a, a valve a blown valve or a, a cylinder that's got no compression um, so I will be checking that as well in a minute um, okay um, actually just before I move on to the uh, ECU situation um, I'm going to do a compression test um, of each cylinder and see if there is any issues um, with the cylinders because uh, I have been doing some reading and apparently if one of the cylinders is got a a blown valve or something like that and no compression the car uh, doesn't switch on the signal to that particular cylinder I'm not sure how it detects that but that's what I've seen so I just want to check the compression um, on cylinder number one so I've got that connected to cylinder number one there and um, I've disconnected this wire here from the, the coil pack so the other cylinders are not going to be firing uh, trying to start the car. I just want to um, test the compression. So, I mean, I've got my ECU disconnected anyway, so we'll have a, we'll give it a go here, see what happens. There is no compression there at all. Well, that's not very good. Um, actually, I like to. <laughs> that's not really great news. I would like to be able to see the gauge, so I'll give that a go. Another go. Right, cylinder number one was dead. I mean. It wasn't showing me any compression whatsoever, so I replaced the plug in there. I'm gonna check cylinder number two here um, and um, try to have a look at that. So that has 10 bar or about 140 psi so i have compression on cylinder number two but there's nothing on cylinder number one uh, i'm gonna do the other two and go back to number one and see how i get on Okay, cylinder number three. 
that is reading around 9 bar or about 130 psi so very similar to the other one and now i'll test number four and go back to number one okay number four number four very similar to number three so now I'm gonna jump back to number one to just double check I haven't made any mistake here okay I'm back to cylinder number one here and uh, it's gonna release the pressure there and we're gonna check that again there's no compression at all so <laughs> I think that concludes the reason why I have a misfire it must be a blown valve or a blown cylinder head gasket or something going on there and that means I have to remove the head uh, I couldn't actually believe when I uh, was doing some of the investigation um, some people were mentioning that the ECU switches off firing on a cylinder um, if it detects there's no compression. I didn't think that was true as such because I was wondering how is it doing that? How is it switching? How is it detecting that and switching it off? Um, and it clearly looks like that is the case. Um, so, as far as diagnosing that misfire, I think, um, I think, uh, we have found the, um, the problem here now. So now I can end the video and, um, on the next video, I will show you, um, that you can replace the ECU, the EWS and all the kit and the car will actually run and, and and it will run i've already done it <laughs> and it runs and it misfires the same as, as it's doing now um so obviously i have a, a bad cylinder here um but uh i will show you that that is possible to do if you found that you have all full compression here and you have the same issue with no signal you may have a faulty ecu so that other video may help you do that uh, however in this in this video um, we have concluded that we have a, a blown something in there there's no compression so I'm gonna end this video now um, and I hope the video helps don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video where I show you how to change all the ECUs and things uh, to no avail obviously because it's not gonna be helpful in this case scenario but it will it will be helpful if you wanted to to do that um, so anyway, um, hope this video helps and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.